Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the Bantamweight bout in Bellator between Magomed and Magomedov versus Patchy Mix and high season right here. I'm going to go average confidence, Patchy Mix from the dog spot to beat Magomed Magomedov. And with this one, I, I feel like either guy, are, either guy are proficient strikers. I don't feel like that is. Neither of them are great strikers, I feel. I feel like Patchy Mix has a higher ceiling. As a matter of fact, overall, I feel like he has a higher ceiling. If you could tap into his talent, you know, really be able to evolve a strike. Now, we did see a little bit of that in the Hiroguchi fight, like his strike is coming along more. But, um, yeah, I feel like he has a higher ceiling overall. Striking, grappling, everything has a higher ceiling than Magma and Magomedov, in my opinion. I feel like Magma and Magomedov has kind of come from, you know, that traditional Russian fight. I don't feel like it's so, he's like so phenomenal. He don't feel like he's breaks the mold so much. He is a good bit of... The average from there, like, you know, from there, you know, they're better fighters, but like, you can see a lot of guys that look linear just like him. Is all I'm saying. He's not, he not really nothing special about him. He's solid. He can pick some wins up and he's consistent, but he ain't nothing special. But I feel like Patchy Mix, his grappling is special. His wrestling is special. His frame, physique, build is special. His mind for the game is special, but it's all about can you actually use that? Because a lot of people have this and that, but you can't really connect all the dots and make it work for you. You just end up being on the wrong side of the lane. But nonetheless, I feel like Patchy Mix can definitely address the rest of the Mega Man, Mega Man off. I'd also think he's very crafty on the ground, very sneaky in the Jiu Jitsu department as well. And I feel like he, that's an area where I feel like Mega Man and Mega Man off is not really is proficient in there. So if the rest of go almost somewhat cancel off, like Patchy Mix can out scramble him, take his back, and put him in weird positions. And you know, when you a guy that's like very scrambling like that and also solid and strong in your wrestling, not just like a little loose paperweight. You could really be a big, you know, you really be like a little anaconda out there. Like, you know, with his frame, long, lanky, strong. And I don't feel like it's a style matter where, like, say with him, Juan Archuleta. Archuleta is like an anti-grappler. Like, even then, Patrick Mix had him in a lot of bad position. But, and also it was a five-round fight as well. You know, I think um, Archuleta had championship experience, was the champion. So, it was like, you only got so many rounds. To, I mean, you got so many rounds to work with and that you have not been in there. And eventually that's going to wear down versus a guy that knows how to deal with that. But. Now that's three rounds, and also not like Magomed and Magnolia is this well round five. Like I feel like I will put them both far more in the grappling, grappling wrestlers, the jiu-jitsu players than I would put them anywhere near striking. So, basically, what I'm saying I feel like the wrestling can't stop. But I feel like Patchy Mix is gonna be the win with his ability to scramble, also probably with that length, probably doing some little teeps out there, just being long, maybe not the cleanest striking, but still using that reach. Then take advantage of Magomed off, maybe being a little bit over aggressive, trying to cover that distance, trying to go for these takedowns. Being sprawl heavy, being able to take his back, create scrambles and windy scrambles, and just really like a lot of situations where I start seeing these full, you know, more world round fighters beat these Russian fighters who kind of fall more in these one dimensional blockhead, um, blanket dudes. Like they go into these jiu jitsu players, they be flipping them around, reversing them, and it's schooling them out because they come in there too one dimensional. Like you got to evolve your game, you can't just be one dimensional. Like y'all get by on it so much. When you go with a guy that can match you in the area and then they better than you and they actually fully evolve themselves as a fighter, they be schooling y'all. It's it's the, it's, the, it's the truth of the matter. Y'all be getting to school. I think this is going to be a very good competitive fight, though. I'm not saying he'll get tapped. I'm not, I'm not saying he'll get spanked out there. I think he's very comp competitive. But I think Patrick Mix is going to be just a step ahead and it's going to be that grappling that's going to be that BJJ that's going to be the biggest advantage. Or that length in that BJJ is going to be the biggest advantage. But definitely the BJJ, I feel, will be the biggest and length, maybe they be, could, could join. But... Those would be the biggest advantages. And I think that will get Patchy Mix over in this one. And I think three rounds helps him as well. So he know he can be as creative as he wants to know how to worry about two extra rounds. I had this five round fight, so but I'm still gonna go with him. I'm gonna say decision. Close competitive fight. But um Patchy Mix decision. So close competitive fight for sure. That makes it even closer. And that's why I might go low confidence. I'm gonna go average comp, stick with my average confidence, and I'm gonna go Patchy Mix to get it done via decision so in this one i got patchy mix via decision 